Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to show you guys this fun spring makeup that I have on right here. I did a poll over on Instagram to see if you guys wanted a vlog or makeup and it was actually kind of funny because all of like my mom followers voted for the vlogs and then all of like my non-mom followers wanted the makeup tutorial. So it was cute. I'm obviously going to do both but I didn't know which one to do first. So I chose the makeup tutorial and it's super simple. Um, it only takes about 15 minutes to get through and it turns out really cute and fresh lasts all day and yeah if you guys want to see how we got this look and the techniques I use just keep on watching all right so the first step I do is I'll go ahead and apply my concealer to the areas that I want a little bit brighter I feel like in the in the spring and the fall winter you can get away with a little bit more makeup on your face versus the summer I really just do concealer and kind of blend it out. So I'll do this really bright concealer. I know it's way too bright for my face. And then I take a foundation and I'll pump it on the back of my hand. And I don't even need like a full pump. I kind of just do a half. Then I take my damp beauty blender and I kind of like dip it into this. And then I'll blend out the concealer and then apply this foundation to the rest of the skin that doesn't have any stuff on it. So I kind of start a little bit lower and then I just drag it up and it kind of smooths everything out and I always go over my eyelid as well so that's the first side and then I dip back into it do the other side I found that now I prefer just less like as little product under my eyes as I can get away with because it just settles into like fine lines harder to keep it clean looking I don't want it to look too cakey under my eyes so this way you get the effect of the concealer but it isn't like foundation and then concealer and then powder like it's not three separate layers of something I have chicken cooking in the oven and I have a 20 minute timer so we'll see if we can do this in 20 minutes or if I'll need a little longer I do not put the foundation, I don't drag it down onto like my neck and chest. I, I'll like, I'll apply bronzer down there to make it blend seamlessly, but I don't want liquid foundation on my neck. Okay, so there is everything applied. After that is all blended out, I'll go in with my Ben Nye powder and I'll throw some in the cap. And then I take just like a little tapered, it's pretty fluffy, a little tapered fluffy brush and I'll dust that under my eyes and I will kind of apply it pretty heavily just because I, I don't want it to crease. Apply this one and I don't apply powder to my whole face. I will just apply it to the places that I normally find myself like creasing throughout the day. Some up here between my eyes under my eyes and then I kind of drag it right down to my nose and there's like a certain feel to when you know you have enough powder on it's like it's a very smooth feeling versus like sticky like your powder just glides across it's a very very smooth <laughs> So then I'll go in with a contour palette. I just take a pretty fluffy brush like this one. I'll go into a cooler shade and I'm just going to put this one right from like the top of the ear almost to like mid cheek. I don't quite hit here. So I'll go from like the top of the ear right into here. That's with my cooler shade and that stays, it does not go under this like the cheekbone line. And then I'll warm up the skin with bronzer and I'll kind of go a little messier and heavier with that. So I just very lightly will like tap into bronzer. It's not much at all. And then I always do. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. But I'll just like do this so it pulls. And I can see exactly where I want it to be. If that makes, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> so I'll go. I don't know if you guys can tell. But it's just really subtle. And you don't want to apply too much. Because then it, it'll look like mud. I feel like. So just a tap. And this is just going right by the ear. And if anything you want to pull up, don't pull down. 
like naturally this shadow is a little bit lower but I'm pulling up above so it makes the face look a little more lifted okay so I don't know if you guys can tell the contour is applied then I'll go in with the warmer shade this is the bronzer and I will really warm up the face and this one I'm a lot messier with definitely go on the higher points not the shadows if that makes sense and then I like apply it right here right on like the tail of my eyebrow and then I'll pull this one up a little bit like this one's going so for the contour I went right here the bronzer I'm gonna go a little bit more on that cheekbone where I'm gonna apply blush and then it'll just kind of give it a more seamless look. And then I will, just with same same brush, I will kind of just drag it down slightly onto my lower cheek. Just so there isn't a super harsh line. And then this is where I'll go in and warm up my neck and chest. So it all matches. There's so much hair going on, my goodness. I did not do my hair whatsoever today. <laughs> I slept in a bun last night and didn't brush it, nothing. Threw some oil in the end so it didn't look crusty, but that's it. Okay, so that is applied. That already really helps shape up the face, I feel like. But then I'll go in with a blush. This blush, honestly, it's swim by e.l.f. It's kind of orange. I, For spring, I would do a little pinkier of one. So I might do this Rose Radiance by Bare Minerals. So this, I just kind of pucker, just a smidge, and I really put the blush cheeks, and I kind of go like right even under my eye where my where I applied a little bit of concealer, and then I do just drag it down, so so nothing is too harsh. I'm gonna go over that with this. I'm this is a loose powder. And I so don't use loose powders anymore. I feel like it's so messy. This one's just a little pink here, which I really like a rosy cheek, especially like springtime. I like all those pinky purple colors. Okay, so then moving on to highlight. I got this highlight. I saw it on TikTok, I think. And it's by Wet n Wild, and it's amazing. It is a loose highlight, which I do not love, but it is so pigmented. So this is my cap. But you literally need a just a teeny tiny dab. So I'll use like a tapered brush, pretty fluffy brush, and I will tap in, tap that off. Like I hard, I didn't swirl, I didn't do any of that. And then almost the same face I do for my contour. I'll do this, and I'm just gonna put it right on my high points. And I just blend and rub. And I feel like you can always add more. It's hard when you do too much you get that stripe of highlight and you can't wash it away so you can always build and then i will go just like the tail end of my brow arch from the tail and kind of bend that around to make a c on this part of my face tail end of the brow c and then i will drag it kind of like when you smile i want my cheekbone like my the meaty part of meaty part of my cheek. Oh my gosh! To um, my phone, I always leave it on really loud ringer. I think it's I think it's a mom trait. Once you become a mom, you have your phone on loud ringer at all times. <laughs> I don't know why it's so annoying, but I literally can't help myself. Okay, so now I'm just kind of brushing that onto the apples of my cheeks. Go back in, and I will hit my nose, my chin. Okay, see how my nose, that's a little too bold. That's what I mean, less is more. So I'm going to go in with that bronzer brush and just kind of, I don't want to keep going over it with my, with my highlight brush because I don't want it to get even worse. So just like a diluted bronzer brush is fine. For eyes, as always, I keep it so simple and I use my one tried and true, like a cosmetics brush. I've been dipping in, I've been using like a pretty big Morphe palette. I think it's like the 350 palette. 
I dip into two neutral shades and I'll just pop that on my crease and up above just to warm it up, give the eyelid a little bit of contour. And I will drag it onto the lid once most of my product has been blended into the crease just so it's not, once again, super harsh. The eye. <gasps> That's my chicken. I have to go get that. So just super neutral. This is an all matte shade. Buff that into the crease. Let me go grab the chicken and then I'll show you what I do for the lid. Every time I make chicken, I keep putting it in for five more minutes and five more minutes and it was 165. Okay, moving on to the lids. So I'll take a shimmer shadow right on my fingertip and I have like a mixture of a gold one and a pretty like frosty, um, a cool tone one. The cool tone one is honestly like a little too frosty with like my red hair. I feel like it just clashes. So I'll do the gold and the frosty. And then I'll just raise my eyelids to make it as smooth as possible. I'll just tap it on from the inside to about mid lid. teeny tiny tapered a teeny tiny tapered brush I'll dip back into those colors and just kind of hit right on that inner tear duct line kind of just make the eye nice and bright oh wait so then this it cosmetics brush I love has a like angled side to it and I'll go in with any like a brownish gray and I'll dip into it and then I'll just do a small little powdered wing so I'm not going in with any harsh liners or anything but I will kind of just drag up from my lower lash line and kind of follow the natural like bend of my eye and I just make it really soft this one I feel like is almost a little too low so then I'll take my finger make sure there's nothing on it and I'll kind of just pull Hold it up, clean up that, clean up that lower ledge. Wings will always be the death of me. At least when they're, you, I feel like when you're starting out with wings, Eyeshadow is the best because it's so forgiving and then end of the day they don't turn out good You just smudge them out and you can really get away with it. So So here is the eyes Then I'll just curl and go in with a mascara. This is just Lash Paradise This one's so good My hair is so um, I don't even want to say it's like super duper red, but if I use a cool tone eyebrow pencil, it looks so muddy on my face because my hair is so warm. So I need a warm tone pencil. Otherwise they look so like not a part of my face. <laughs> I just kind of line the bottom and give myself just like a shape that... Just like a definitive shape for the bottom. Brush up and then I'll just kind of fill in. I usually have to fill in this little arch right here. On both sides. And then I just fill in the whole brow a little bit. So it's all one color and doesn't look sparse. And then I just tap right in the front. And then I spoolie that vertical. I don't know why I do this. But that is <laughs> that's what I do. And then. Brush him up and then we'll do the other friend. I feel like also when you're starting out with the brows, if you hold your pencil more towards the base instead of like up here, this is going to give you a much darker, denser line versus like feathery strokes are easier when you hold it down here. Same with like any brush. So like, you know, if I'm doing my highlight, if I'm going to hold my brush down here like a pencil, that's just going to be way more dense and hard versus if you hold it out here. It forces you 
to have like lighter pressure when you're applying it so it's much more forgiving like if you're first starting out or you're like trying new products getting nervous you don't know how pigmented they are that's a good technique is to hold your pencil brush whatever it is towards the tail end and then it's not as harsh of application same with the center i'll kind of go in and i almost just tap i don't even do feathery strokes just kind of tap then i take it vertical blender out and then brush up and back okay so that is basically all my face see how my blush already i feel like it's already faded quite a bit so i'm gonna go back in it's just like so cute and girly and since i technically do have a full face of foundation i am gonna set it with a setting spray just because i think it helps mesh all those powders and let everything kind of sink into the skin so i just use some fix plus and then i'll just lightly spray sometimes i find that if it gets on my mascara it runs everywhere so sometimes i'll hold this like above my eyes and then i'll hold it down here and do my forehead i'm just gonna go for it all because my mascara is pretty dry like that all right so then once the setting spray is on you will have a couple like droplets so i'll go back in with my beauty blender pounce over the whole face especially in like my creases and then this just ensures like there won't be like a water droplet you know like stain i don't want to say stain but you know like a water droplet mark on you and it just helps press everything into the skin so it's so it's not powdery i don't really apply anything to my lips i'm like a chapstick girly through and through sometimes i'll do a lip gloss but usually whew, the hair gets smashed onto my face and i cannot stand it so i don't typically do anything but some chapstick so this is my final look i'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see really light the eyes are really light as well that is my final look. I hope you guys liked my little spring tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.